You're, You're with, with the, the Breaker Leggers, and we're in Coventry in the Midlands at the Belgrade Theatre to see the play Faithful Roosler. So stay tuned to find out how many legs, whether it's break a leg or a leg it. Before you go any further, to make sure that you've always got your finger on the theatrical pulse. For theatre news, reviews and interviews, make sure you hit the subscribe button now. Uh, faithful Ruslin? 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 Yes. Is it English? No, it's faithful. Russian actually. Okay. Its full name is Faithful Ruslin, The Story of a Guard Dog, and it's based on the cult novel by Georgi Vladimov which tells the story of the death of Stalin and what followed when the Russian prisoner camps were liberated and the guide dogs that belonged to the prison's guard were mainly executed um, but certainly abandoned and this is the story of the post-revolution Russia through the eyes of a guard dog. Are, are, there, are there pets in this one then? Are, these, are there animals in this? I don't believe that they are animals. I believe that they are being actors metamorphosizing. Metamorphosizing, so a bit of like war horse kind of going on. Yes, and it has been likened to war horse in some respects. Oh, is it? In the, in the write-ups. It's actually a premiere here in the Belgrade and it's a co-production between the Belgrade and the Citizens Theatre Glasgow. It's playing for two weeks here and then two weeks up in Scotland. Uh, two acts? Two acts, so we will catch you at the interval. We've come to the interval of Faithful Ruslan here at the Belgrade Theatre Coventry, which means it is time for the Breaker Leggers 30, 30 Second Interval, interval breakdown. breakdown. Go! What do you think so far? Yeah, I don't know if I'm totally on board with the dogs, animals, people, playing dogs, playing animals, playing people. I find it difficult to keep up with the plot because there is a lot of switching between roles. I think if I had an animal as a person the whole way through, I'd be happy. How about you? Um, I get what's going on and they're trying to make it move in quite a contemporary, movementy way, kind of switching between this and that, but I just don't really care that much. I don't know if I'm in fully invested in the story. We've come to the end of Faithful Ruslan here at the Belgrade Theatre. What did you make of that? Um, I thought the performances were committed. The set was nice and it did really kind of evoke that industrial age Russia for me. I, I felt like I was in that. Although I did wonder, does it never get warm in Russia? Because it don't seems so. to be cold to. the whole time, no. and they seem to be dressed in winter clothes throughout the time we were with the story. So I was just wondering if it ever got warm, but ultimately the piece was far too long. <laughs> what did you think? Uh, I think come the end of the piece I realised that it's actually quite a nice story. There's a definite sentiment to it, it's very touching, very moving. However, if the way that it lover. is told and just completely detracts from that. It's so messy in its telling. Uh, at one point I was thinking it would be okay if it lost 20 minutes. And then I was thinking it'd be okay if it lost half an hour. No, no, it needs to leave, leave about 45 minutes and then maybe you've got something. Some of the scenes that are nice set moments are just so muddy in their movement and telling that you just don't know where the narrative is or what narrative you're meant to be following. It's just nothing near as clean as, um, what was it we saw, La Strada. It's yes. kind of in the same ballpark, but done nowhere near as well. Yeah, in terms of the way that the, the props move and they're trying to um, make set pieces out of everyday objects and move them around, much like the Strada did, but without the kind of vim and verve that the Strada employed in order to tell that story. Uh, again, touches of music a bit like La Strada as well, mm -hmm. but not quite to that level, unfortunately. Um, uh, overall, I, I mean, if I like the novel, 
would I like this? It seems to reach, uh, it seems to be trying to speak to a certain type of audience member and I've got a feeling I'm not that person. I don't even think, I think it's just in the telling of the story. It's just not told very well. The ideas are there, but just poorly executed. Um, this show opened, when was it, on Saturday? Yes. Now there was about 20 minutes of the second act, which I felt as if the actors had only just picked up the scene and rehearsed it off stage. Nice. It was so messy and slow and sluggish and unsafe. Uh, it just ground to a halt and didn't add anything to it. Uh, I just didn't feel safe at all with this. What did you like about it? I, I, I did like the set. In fact, in terms of the cast, I, I could tell that the cast were invested in the And you'd the have project. to be invested because this is the type of piece that if you don't believe in it, it's going to be even worse than it already is. And each character had nice moments, but consistent, consistently not. Um, the main doc, Ruslan, he was very committed. Ruslan. Ruslan, Ruslan throughout gave, you know, very committed to his part. I really did believe it and I thought some very nice movement from him. Um, but I think it's just the overall execution just was needs a knife and needs restaging and uh, lots of superfluous staging going on almost like um they said oh let's do some exercises to see if we can explore this yeah oh that looks good let's put it I in i did feel a bit like drama schooly like yeah. now you're a dog and now how would you feel if you were a dog and you were under threat and then and that just looks go with good it. oh let's go let's put it. it in let's put it in let's yeah. fill a moment but it didn't actually drive anything it didn't and i think that's the that's the my problem with it it lacked drive there are moments that didn't push the narrative as well as it would have cut away some of the stuff that's not necessary i say it is a nice warming piece you know i did come the end i was like okay i, I could see that this is quite touching i was i just wanted the dog to die <laughs> and even then at the end <laughs> he came back to life die for already <laughs> But, no. but I could see that there was a narrative in there that's very touching and sentimental and very tragic. So, I bet you're wondering how many we are, legs we are going to give Faithful Ruslan, the story of a guard dog. For this piece, we are going to give... One! One leg. Yeah, it's just not a... It, I mean, I don't know what the book's like, but to be honest with you, this, this staging of this story in this environment does nothing for it. I think the book is probably quite good. I could tell there was some nice writing in there, and you could almost tell when the text was being used straight off the page, and it was quite poetic and quite nice. But, um transposed onto the stage in this production it's just a real shame wasted opportunity that's what we thought what did you think if you get a chance to see it please let us know yeah like subscribe follow us on twitter we're the breaker leggers and we'll see you again soon bye, bye.